All right, all right, all right. Nico, in the buttons previous... work. No, they don't, do they? <laughs> I, I was having I a go. Didn't try, they just didn't line up. I left them alone. Okay. We're into the action. The lights will be off in a second, so we'll be able to see what's going on. And then we can get into this action. Nico, very prominent presence, usually on their yard position, and Cadian's tucked in to hold for the info. Just simple jumping across for now, and he's anticipating the boom. It's drop. He was right to do so. Simple of real demon on the P250. And Navi have got clear intentions here. Four of them in yard. Ooh, oh. intentions or not, sometimes the outcome differs, and so far it does. Cadian making some decent work of them, but it's Stown who could be the bigger threat playing from the old locker room. Simple having to peel away slightly. As the P250 still stand, this man with the P250 strikes fear into many hearts. Yeah, I'm loving the T-side of Meadow with a bit of a shift. Multiple P250s being purchased and dropped across in a lot of teams these days. But as we stall on out, Flamey trying to draw some attention over towards the lobby. And there you go. <laughs> Dink dead. Bow up hits the deck, and now we find oh. ourselves in a 2v3. Yeah, and Stan's tucking into the hut. He hears the access, and Simple is oh. having a absolute Get him out one. of here. Sends them packing. Tessas, he's got his suitcase half packed. He's got his stick, his spotty. Ooh. What do you call that? Tarpaulin? You know, like in the old, you know, like in um, Wallace and Gromit, when the uh, penguin's packing up his house and he gets the cliche, the, the, the nope. stick, and it's like a bit of fabric, they tie it on the end about. of the stick. What would you have called that piece of fabric? A tarpaulin? It, mm. it, like with the little lunch. No, the chicken. It. I know what you're talking about. Yeah, I do know what you're talking name. about. Oh, God. It, it... Little st the stick in the sack. Rush, what would you call it? You're normally pretty creative. What is this, tarpaulin? What, what are you talking about? Well, no, no, we're trying to define the term. So, you know, when like the old, when you're packing your bag, sack. and you got like a, a, a stick, and you put all your belongings in the little. Oh, it's like a, a hobo uh, uh, backpack. A backpack? Uh, we're yeah. cutting Rush off right now. Yeah, anyway, that's the end of Rush Lee. He's actually <laughs> lost his microphone privileges. Uh... Um, but we do have Borup. Now, many of people would like me to call him Borup. It's called a bindle. A bindle, that's bindle, what I needed to is. hear. Thank you. Words oh. are hard. Well Umich just walked straight past yeah. Molly missed as well towards... Oh, gosh. I went wrong. What's going on here? This is such a messy, messy round. And I saw rifles for the T's and SMGs-ish falling over, but it's a scout to almost close the account as electronic. Left in a 1v4, and these don't even look that... that phased. You got down low, sure, right. So he's, he's a little weaker than the others, but the rest, perfectly fine. Yeah. Perfectly. Um, if Electronic wins this round, is able to pull out a 1v4 here, it's going to have saved Navi a lot of heartache because going into the next they're only going to get a $1,400 loss bonus after winning pistols. So back against the wall, Electronic needs to dig them out the best he can. Bomb down towards that hut position, and guess who's pushing forward? Stan and Nico, both with SMGs, could pick up that AK-47 at any moment, and they will do. So the most potent weaponry in the server right now in the hands of Nico. Twenty-five seconds now. Electronic. What's the plan, my friend? The plan is get a couple of kills when it's dark. Getting a bit nervous. He thought CT Vent was the issue, but it's down to find it in the end. Double kill, make it triple now. Grabs himself a free Galil upgrade and AK-47 for Cadian as well. So that's gone fantastically. And of course, in stark contrast for the Na'Vi camp, the worst case scenario for them. We'll see how that really happened. Just weren't expecting Stown and a quick switch to the Mac-10 gives him this double. Final formality. That's a huge win. Of course, not forgetting this is T side. If you win the pistol and you convert, that's like half of the rounds you need for the half done already. It's so like gold, really, isn't it? Yeah, it's not the case now for Navi. They have opted for the Tech Nine Force Buy. I hope there's Four some of them. Hope there's some coordination behind this, and the smokes do indicate as such. Well, it's a ruse. There's only one player outside. That'll be Electronic with Boomich on top of the main position. Tassus has taken some damage over towards ramp early. We have been seeing the orgs come out quite a lot from Heroic. Nico and Tessas are the two we normally see wielding them. Cadian when he can't afford the AWP. Boom should be dropping the main smoke. Keep them interested towards the yard position. Nico's actually tucked in towards, in towards top, so quite a few members waiting. Here in Bar up and Nico, they're pushing forward again. Well, curiosity could certainly kill here. That's eight bullets remaining. Electronic only needed a couple. And Nico's trying to... 
Oh, I, I don't like this aggressive play. Oh. The Tech Nines love it. This is their absolute environment. But Tessus and Kadian are in, a, I guess, a spot to do something. Yeah, Electronic's going to tuck in. He spots one. Kadian pushing and loses his head. Back and forth, the Force by Wars. I can't believe Navi have made this one look so comfortable. Electronic takes it to a conversion. It's down all the way with that AK. He's just going to try and keep hold of his weapon at this point, and they are starting to push him. Audibly hunting him down. Electronic up, hoping to bait him in. It's a nice wide swing from Perfecto. He'll take the AK back, and wow. Oh. I actually, I, I would never have seen, coming into that Tech 9 armor round, four players alive with recovered weapons for Na'Vi. That was not the outcome I expected. And they gave them the hole, right? This is the opening kill. That was 5v5 until sure. that moment. So obviously losing that yard control applied way too much pressure, having to move forward to try and take space. They were respecting the smoke walls that they had seen. And wow, the electronic punishes right there. And the forces continue. Heroic this time round. Scout for Katie and Deagles for everybody else. They made it work before. Maybe Na'Vi will think better of going in towards that top site, playing around the smokes and getting destroyed by Stown. And here it, it seems to be the case. So they've trickled out three smokes towards the yard. Is there a gap outside, Rush? The radar is showing that there could be. Yes, there is. A very big gap right there. Could be punished, but the Org, good weapon for the job, will be tagged up. Both players, Kadian and Electronic, taking a truckload of damage. Orbs calling Lobby clear at this point. Flamey's above them. That's the locker's smoke. That's a molly for heaven. Orb wants to hunt him down. Oh, flamey has got a good idea that this is happening, though. There's a lot of interesting duels happening at the same time. Rush is going to try and find the one which will actually pay dividends. It's not easy to do. He could use the door to slowly drop or the mic break sound cue for Borup to work with. This is intense stuff, but the Deagle does find blood. Perfecto on the flank. Well, 48 seconds to do something with this. They could do with this to go well for them. I can see a world where we just have the force by yeah, wars, man. I, I get nervous about oh, it. Oh, Lord. Look at Tessus's spot. It's, I mean, he, he's going to come round on the railing, I would assume. Yep. Two bullets to the belly. That's all he needs. You're right. See how many he gets. None. Perfecto. Quicker on the trigger. Tessus goes down, but look how many players waiting. He drops down, peeks his head over the top. Probably gonna die. Flash is coming as well. We're running all on time. They're all coming oh. from this way. Kadian's found one. Perfecto. Bomb. Quick work. Uh. Ten seconds. Where is the bomb? Can't even win it. Just we live. Kill him now. Just will live. Yeah, exactly. The round is is over. Oh Christ. As long as he don't get doesn't go down after time, Stown can push in and take this away. This is gonna hurt the cash. Stown oh. as well with the real punish. Two two. Back and forth we go. <laughs> Well, this is quite the game, folks. Already, we're seeing four spies constantly trading blows. It gets weird now. Perfecto's got 5k. This is how Borup found Flamey. That sound cue. Giving him the extra preparation. Perfecto gave it his best shot in his defense, but Borup just wide swinging out without Mac 10 and Stown having the initiative to clear that CT vent. Grabs himself a free AK, excuse me, the org. It's almost been a hero in every round so far, yeah. right? If we want to recap, simple on the pistol, then in the second it was Stown, then in the third it was Electronic, and now it was Borup. So if everybody wants to keep having magical moments and shutting things down, I'm happy to go back and forth all the way. But it seems like Na'Vi haven't signed themselves up for, well, what comes fifth? What would the fifth be? Not a trilogy. Uh, the Pentuplet. Pentuplet? Have we, do we have any movies that have gone five? Quintuplet. Quint Quintuple. I don't know. Whatever. They're not going to force by again. They're just going to light upgrade into some pistols here. So they will be able to purchase in round number six. Glock for Boomage with a flash. Electronic has a smoke. Deagles for Flamey and Simple and a P254 Perfecto here. They can just wait out the early CT side of the utility. Their buy is not fantastic either. So any damage they can do will hinder them going into round number six. Two orgs. MP9, UMP, Alligator in hands of Burr up over towards that top site. Pentology? I don't know. It's just a... <laughs> was a lot of force buyers and Sorry. now there's none. My brain just kind of really got stuck on that. Flamey's found down, so... I'm mostly looking to see how much damage the T's do, if any. As these rounds have been weirdly... ...sorted. Oh, good dink. Dink, but no kill. But again, more blood being spilled. Simple being found, leaves Flamey and Electronic, the last two here, and 
the options become very, very small. Uh, Kadian has to be safe, of course, otherwise this could open up opportunities to punish rotations and get around and get it in awkward positions. No subtlety to it, though. And no chance to it either. Nicely picked up in the end for him. Three kills there. Keeps the control. And Heroic do break the trend. Yeah, KDM could, if he would like, buy into that AWP to give them a potent buy going up against Na'Vi's. Currently still holding on to that MP9. We know that they've made some very big gambly style calls. Reflect just to one of their Inferno games the other day. They were stacking five players over towards the B site, laying utility down top banana. They had a five-man A lean mid-round with Katie knowing he could cheat on over, and he will do exactly that. Upgrading, Burrow has the MP9. Tessas are stuck with that UMP. And more hmm. damage exchange. Katie takes a little lick, and Flamey gulps up a huge chunk. So he's down to 17 to kick things off have plenty of nades to work with so they can still string the CTs out. If they want to go for a smoke wall, there's not a huge amount of aggression towards Yard. It is just Nico currently overseeing with the Org, playing some very tight lines, and then Kadian towards the hell position, also watching a, a very slither gap for the cross towards Secret. So Na'Vi are taking their time here. Heroic seeing if they can bounce back on the map pick of Na'Vi. Here comes the smoke wall. L block coming out. Third smoke a little bit late, but she'll get there on time. Katie might be flashing Nico forward off this. He wants to go through it. And he does catch a perfectly flash perfecto, oh. but he doesn't convert. That's a bit of a mare. Early frag found. Two members of Na'Vi very low, but they are descending with that bomb. Haven't seen a lower side. A hit, really. First time we're going to get some action here on B. Tessis and Kadian rotating in. UMP, certainly not the weapon for the job. He hasn't got time to elevate, so he will just opt for this lower side. Boomich playing with the doors, plays with Tessus, and it's the end of him. Stown claws one back for Heroic. It is that orb that sees no action whatsoever. Electronic makes short work of him. Perfecto with no HP. This is an ambitious fight to try and take with an armored AK. He wants that weapon. He nades itself to it. <laughs> and now it would be lovely if he was to get the frag with the uh, naded Galil. And he does. But that should be about it. Simple. And 3-3. Three, three. Nico's yet to frag. He had an absolute banger of a game in that first half over there on overpass. So being kept quiet here is something we need to keep our eyes on. Simple was head and shoulders above the rest with a massive performance. And Nico was, I guess, toe-to-toe -to -toe with him for the majority of the game. Even though the scoreline was such a blowout, it was still a, a huge fragging performance. So let's see if he's able to gear on up. Will be down, giving the AWP back over to Katie, and he has a Deagle. One for Tessas as well is the full purchase. Triple smoke wall, we need a new name for this one. Coming on through. Diagonal? Yeah, the diagonal smoke wall, that works. I like it. I like Simple. to see what they uh, do with these buys, if I'm honest. Idiot, gonna have to be an integral cog in this. Keep in mind, he's gonna have to fall away. Territory now garnered. Simple's got him off over towards Secret. He has got the bomb in hand, so he's gotta be a little bit cautious. Yeah, setting Secret up and setting Simple up on Secret is a fantastic first step and completely denying this. You can see that Kadian has been forced to fully set himself up in that lower site. He's actually heading back to ramp now. So no one's going to be lower. That electronic would have a bit more room to maneuver now. Boomich, look how much space he's got. Perfecto and him could work on ramp from either side. Kadian reveals the AWP is there. And that's the flank. It could be both. It's only one. Boomich, he's caught ramp. He's locked it down. Hell is now absolutely real for Kadian. And into the lower site. Simple's already going to be planning that bomb. This is a nice T-side approach from Na'Vi, and it's translating into a round win. They might have to save, considering the finances of the CTs and considering what little equipment they have to bring into this. There's no kits. It's not like it's a retake territory. If anything, they just want to get down equipped. See if they can get this AWP off of the ramp, but I think with Flamey pushed so far forward up at Megaton, ready to duel, it might be difficult for Stown to get close. Perfecto's gun is one that Maybe he could be on the docket. Well, Flamey says no, takes another rifle out of the equation, and bye. Look like a dink. 
bit unlucky. Simple. Oh. Still orping. And now they do lose two more weapons. Damn, Barb's going to be happy with that one. I'd be able to get the orb here if he's yeah. quick. And he keeps them honest. Yeah, so that's uh, that's not ideal for Na'Vi. Far from it. But picking up the round win is certainly the primary objective. And you'll see how the way in which they managed to manufacture this. It was Boomage flank. Cadian caught out. Borup does well to do some damage. But round eight, map two, game two. Hey, those are the boys I was telling hey. you about. Hey. There's more of them now. There's five. Yeah, having a whale of a time. Who Love people you? making time for the competitive Counter-Strike. We have only got USPs in that preserved orb, so let's see if Cadian can turn anything around. Nading off the door early does mean that he'll be able to hold this line for the rest of the half. And ooh, 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 ooh. I should say round, not half. Jiggling in. Here comes Cadian. Cadian wants to go. Oh. Gosh, that's a hard shot to hit when Flamey immediately tags him. <laughs> now it's time to play Juggle the Orp. Everyone gets to go. Nico passes the first test. Harvey, these are the rounds they cannot afford to let slip away. Do they want to get it too costly? Just have to group up. Not, there's a level of disrespect that's relevant and a level that's a little foolish. He goes down the vent already. He might be in position over towards Decon. It's pretty oh, nice. This feels good. Hmm. Smoke makes it difficult. Throws out one of his own to play around. <laughs> It's like scissor, paper, rock right there. Still need to get control of this. Window is a problem. Bow up is there with the deagle. Love this little adventure we've had with the util. <laughs> I love that from Simple. Just a little bit better. Bomb goes down and suddenly all those threats a little less threatening. Sounds good. Ooh. <laughs> He just like he got caught with his hand <laughs> in the Haribo there. Yeah. <laughs> Cookie Jar almost just snapping down on him, but no. But let him get away with a little treat for himself. <laughs> oh, that was funny. Rocky. Find him, I'm not sure, but yeah, that did make me a little nervous. Yeah, it did just look like he was trying to steal something and he just got called the <laughs> hell out. Young man. What are you doing? What do you think you're doing? He got himself the AWP and he's heading off to the safest of save spots, that is, that CT spawn. Uh, it might not feel that important that he saves this considering how these rounds have flowed on through, but take a look at Cadian's money right now. He has 1,100 in the bank balance with a $2,400 loss bonus coming on through. So for him to get given this orb, he can drop a rifle, take the AWP and just go glass cannon. And it might be able to bolster one of his other rifles, someone who's going to be a bit more mobile, might need the Molotov, might need the smoke to play around. Or Stown, who we've seen as a, a decent secondary orper, might be able to pick it up. Now note this position of Tessus here. This is on the CT side, but he has an affinity with that position when we get into post plants and we flick on over to the T side. So if Na'Vi have been watching the demos, they'll be well aware of where Tessus likes to play. Kedian didn't drop a rifle, bought some extra goodies in for himself, even gave himself a thousand dollars left in the bank balance. So good for him. Means more orbs in the future potentially. Electronic quickly towards Yard. Kadian, oh, maybe he'll get a kill onto Flamey up at ramp here. He checked his corner last time. Let's see if He's procedural again. He wasn't quite. Goes one for one. Nico caught electronic outside as well, though. Nico in mini. Perfecto. Good chance to try and sell this one. Just as the smoke blooms on mini, they do continue their push. Boomage wrapping around now. Perfecto containing. Loud. The four versus three. He's down in the lower side already. Tessus. Prepares himself for the potential of the conceded hell. Well, they're boosting up onto the rafter as well. This could be a massive point of timing for Nico, depending if he wants to go towards heaven or not. Can just play this off angle. Oh, wild spam. Sketchy, sketchy, sketchy. He gets it. Miss Tess has tested. Now the bomb can go lower. stown has been there the whole time, I will remind you. What have they got? A molly, two mollies. Surely they don't just go for the full hold. That's just easy stown frag any day of the week. Yeah, the bomb's loose. Simple has to clutch up. 35 seconds. He swings open the door and stown's already waiting for him. A big frag from the lower rotator. And that pulls the fourth home. But five posted for Na'Vi. Considering they lost the second round off their pistol win, they've done very well to break back. Three in, cons in consecutive order. This was the Tessa's trade that continued them on the path to success. And it was Stown who just waited around just long enough. Didn't anticipate the rotate down, so. Did feel a bit rushed, didn't it, on towards that lower site, but obviously unawares or maybe some misinformation on where they thought both of the remaining CTs were. 
round 10 underway with the standard utility towards the squeaky door. Nade to blow her open, smoke to obscure vision. Nico's been taken out of the equation here early with some good smokes as Navi want to continue patrolling and controlling the yard over the smoke. Kadian may have been able to find one, but Stown's actually done it through the smoke. So things starting to heat up here on Nuke. Perot can wrestle this one back. They can still find themselves with a 10-5 first half. Certainly. Electronic's going to be pretty furious about the full smoke shots two rounds in a row. First Nico, now Stown. Speaking of Nico, quiet from him. Oh, wow. Perfecto, his full 360 nearly translating into a frag. Nico working with just 7 HP. It was a good turn right there as well. That was, that was very quick stuff. Faded it and returned his aim necessary very quickly. Four on, make it five on two. Boomich the first to draw blood for Na'Vi. They know Nico's tucked in. That's not the weapon for the job, Borup, and he's given him away in. Nico trapped towards the garage. Simple wants him. Yeah, Kadian can't really support him because he has to worry about Mini. And now he's gone down. It's a two on two. They've got so much time. 30 seconds. Tess is in the vents. Boomich anticipates it. Smoke to cover him off. And Kadian needs one hit. Oh, and a jumping from Boomich has done enough. But it is through the smoke that Tessis thrives. Five to five. Managed to keep it honest, but down to the squalor. That is 2.8 on the high end, 1.9 for Electronic. And we'll see how that frag from Boomish looked. This is their way back in. <laughs> really not the gun, was it? Oh. So Tessus and Stown took down the two best players on Na'Vi through smokes just there. So that's a yeah. very frustrating way to be losing Simple and Electronic within a round. But a good round for Heroic to be picking up as they've tied things up 5-5, five to five, have forced Na'Vi back down to just the pistols. And guess what? Simple has a Deagle. Guess who dropped him in? Boomich. This is feeling very Zeus-esque. From back in the day, if you forget... Navi did everything they possibly could to give Electronic and Simple guns because they were the biggest two weapons, and it feels like nothing's really changed, even though the roster has drastically... Oh! Simple working with a very, very tiny gap there. Won't be granted the chance to get a kill, but hold what? up a second. Boomish just glocked Kadian across Ow. the yard? I think he just out-orped Kadian with a glock. Okay. Uh, sometimes you like to see a bit of context to things, wouldn't you? How the hell that went down? But maybe it's as simple as it sounds. However... So I'm going to keep things relatively on track. Maybe a weird feeling beginning here. Perfecto, shut down by Nico. There we go. All, all safe, but yeah, very... Makes you wonder outside there what happened with old Cadian. Um, one thing I'm wondering, though, is this is a very close game. Six or oh, five. Oh, yeah. Well, that's how we like them. We don't want them to be running away too quickly. We want to get into that second half with a close affair, so the clutches have to start getting forced. Less save rounds come into play. And Na'Vi, well, five rounds is good, but they would be looking for six to be safe. Get back underway here, over towards top roof. Electronic putting out some utility. Perfecto having to deal with Tassas at ramp early, oh, but Nico, wow. okay. <gasps> oh! I'd be mad. Yeah. I'd be real mad. Really unhappy with that one. Poor old Nico, that is a nightmare incarnate. And now the four remainders, probably a little baffled themselves what happened there, but don't watch it back. It's not going to help. Yeah, forget about that one. Yeah, try and move on. And let's see what Borup can do. He fancies to go at it. That's gone much better. Seeing the arm first, they're a flamey. That's a big pickup. And the nade damage that happened over towards ramp put Boomich, Perfecto, and Simple all low. Boomich wants to put the vent rotation in question, and that smoke will do exactly that. And Stown, well, like a moth to a flame, gets up close and personal, even pushes through it. No fear on this kid. The Molotov has now told Boomich, ah, 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 you don't have control, we do. And decision time this for Navi. This is Navi. scary stuff. Okay, so if they walk lower, Tessis has got the perfect weapon and position. <gasps> Stown's been caught. Not down yet, but does well to maneuver into the headshot. Boomich goes down the vents, though. Tessus does find himself oh. the first two. Really is just textbook counter-strike here. Perfecto eventually not knocks him off his roost. Doors are closed. Vents are dropped. Perfecto wants to plant, but uh, it's the timing of that door opening. Really has worked out wonderfully, and he closes it. Oh, they're just toying with him now. Poor old Boomich stares at the flash. 
fake required, or is he just going to hold it, Kadian, to sweep in? And so, 7-5, to five, you said 10-5 possible, Chad, and now with, what, four in a row from the CT, it certainly starts to becoming a reality. Now looking at 2.9 for the T side. This is the frag he wants to forget. Aims for the head. The box just a little too bulletproof from Electronics POV. Oh, that. the first, like, four bullets didn't even touch him. No, couldn't ball wall bang the corner there. Unpredictable textures of Counter-Strike. In some games I used to play, it was like really obvious. Like anything made of wood, you could wall bang. There's and also that you didn't. Mm. Like within the early stages of this game, when I was trying to learn it as CSGO first was coming out, there was like different angles on which the walls were more spammable or not yeah. as well. Like look at double doors. Like anything from a slight angle gets really skewed. <sighs> okay, well Burrow up tag down to 55. This one here probably shouldn't have too much interest in it. Simple does have the deagle. I don't want to get Overly excited. It's not as easy for him to take territory and isolate jewels like he did do on overpass. I think Na'Vi, for me, on a map like Nuke, sure they have a very strong CT side with that duo of Simple and Electronic out towards Yard, but it's normally their gritty style on their T side, which forces the CTs into economical turmoil. And that doesn't appear to be happening right now towards the tail end of this half. We're on to round 13. They'll only have two rounds to work with. Unless they make this one costly, money shouldn't be too much of a drama. Two. Org, isn't it nice? Very nice. And none of those threats we were considering have really come to anything. That's nice from Flamey. That's very nice from Flamey. But that bomb. Excuse me? Is Flamey just, just, just putting some style points Staunching on this? Staunching on him right now. Yeah, I like this. Come on, Flamey. Have a crack at it. Why not? 40 seconds. You now got the bomb. Oh, I was kind of enjoying the deagle, if I'm honest. Now the clock begins to feel like it's trickling away, but he has a second or two to play with. He's got some choices to make. Can he get a bomb plan out of this? What can he do to try and encourage the situation? But he has got himself the M4, of course, picked up and put into play. Opting for the Deagle here. No one giving anything. Control room to the left would be the first target. He gets that cleanly, then it's game on. Probably not going to happen, though, and it doesn't. It's down. Stops it before it starts. Safe round in the end, even with the loss of two. Yeah, having to uh, try and manufacture something there out of nothing. Now, Simple did have that fantastic first map, and we don't expect him to drop 25 every game, even though he does. Right now, nobody on the Na'Vi side of things in the double digits. If he comes alive with one of those Simple rounds, Na'Vi might find themselves being able to barrel up to seven rounds. Let's have a bit of a... Gander here at the buy. What have they opted for? The big green, it's out for the big man. Towards yard, Katie and aggressive, moving across the secret early. He's being caught on out. Boomich from up and over the top will take him out of the equation. And Electronic could have been found back, but he's... Yeah. Ooh. Oh, he's, I, feel like, I always feel like Electronic's quite lucky to be alive here. There's two opportunities to maybe catch him out, but that smoke, I guess, kind of, even while slightly... Out of spot, did work. Oh, perfecto. Oh, no, perfecto. Turns around, Nico's there. Right, it's down. Next target. He's got to know it, too, after that fight against Electronics. Down's now feeling the pressure. He's realized things aren't looking so hunky-dory. Not at all. Far from it. Simple's working on main as well now. Steps don't bait him in. Simple ah, eventually finds his mark. It's down, found. It's down, down. I said that in my head, I was like, we haven't done that yet. <laughs> Horror Pentestus. Doing nothing with this one. So, it should be the sixth. I guess they do have to save, you're right. Lost burn is only 1,400. Burrup can drop one next round. He can drop one and a half guns, really. Tessas will be able to drop a Famous over. So they can make this buy serviceable. Going into the last round of play, Heroic have the chance to post nine. Na'Vi have sealed up six with this big round and kept it clean. Meaning unless they get a little bit too audacious with their hunt, they should be able to have the five rifles in play on the following. You're going to get 3,500 for the bomb detonation round win. Oh, the hunt is on. Great Molotov there. It's going to burn Burr up forward. He doesn't need to swing out too far. Well, he's being dinked from ramp, so they're doing great on this hunt. If they take these away, this is fantastic work. Great stuff from Na'Vi there. And just take a look at what that's done to the bank balance. The only one able to buy in, really, is Burr up. Kadian can get an M4 and armor, but everybody else is down to pittances, potentially deagles, SMGs, shotguns, menagerie of a buy. What is going on here? What is it? Is he a ghost? Ghost Fecto? 
What was that about? Oh, he used his ultimate, I think. Ah, uh, I didn't read. Okay, so he has got enough kills. Got enough kills, enough so kills, he popped his ulti. His ulti. Yeah. And then he popped it so that he could yep. go. Okay, all right. Really invisible. All right, well, can we see what the other team's buy looks like, or we have a bit harder game over here? Uh, this is a little bit more mysterious, I'm afraid. You have to work it out for yourself. Uh, you got to keep track of things. Oh, it's wild. The one thing, though, it does have is it has visual elements of what's more bangable and not. There's a little uh, feature for you. I know you like that one, Chad. Oh. Didn't bring it up, but then you went and flamed my game. So, flamey. Ooh. Out in the corner. Down the vents we go. Oh, this is awkward moments. The CTs are just walking into them backwards. <laughs> the shotgun is so scary. <laughs> doom, doom. Well, wow, Electronic has stayed alive. Perfecto's taken down Stan. Now it's just Bar up and Kadian. This could be the seventh on the ball for Navi. Could. Kadian's got the bomb, though. Perfecto could get caught here by Bar up swing. Dink exchanged. Electronic finishes him off. So now it gets awkward. Now it gets difficult. Kadian, I've seen you pull these kind of rounds out of your hat. <laughs> Let's see what type of hat's he wearing, Alex? Oh, it's a, it's a snap back. It's backwards. It's really cool. 8-7, we're going to go discuss our favorite hats and maybe exchange some pictures too. 8-7, we'll be right back. on the half. That's some numbers for Chad to process. And Lauren, of course, processing the counter on our screens. Is it you at home? We're ready for ESL Pro League's third map of our second game, et cetera, et cetera. Machine, Sponge, and of course, Pansy, Jang, and now 
Janging out. <laughs> Janging out. As friends boys. with hanging out. Just changing out. But we're slanging out. <laughs> We're losing our minds. There's been a lot of pauses, all of that, you know, weird scenarios in this. But we are in the second CZ. half. Armored CZ. No, I'll tell you what. Oh. That's something Simple could slap with. He's waiting for the God Flash. Oh, I don't see the sticker on it. You're right. Ah, wrong one. Orob's got a very stylish clock fade, though, with the uh, Skull King. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Very nice. Here That's we go. Flash. Here we go. Simple. Sweet Jesus. <laughs> it's gone. Okay. That's a, a lot of money squandered there. That's a full Kevlar vest and a CZ75. $1,200 gone in a bullet. And good damage inflicted Great by damage. Boomage. Really nice. But there's only three of them left. They still haven't planted. Aura has the bomb. Nico trying to challenge as well. Flamey oh, dealing with the Where are they going? Ecto's caught Nico. If they find Flamey, they want to pivot. He knows that. And he has been found out. They are just running around now as a partner or a pair. Oh, good shot from Boomage again. He's definitely not willing to bow down to this one. Okay, where are these little fakey boys going to go now? Little fakey boys, always somewhere else. I liked the song before. Oh, I don't like the... Yeah, okay, cool, 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 cool. Now, uh, up the ladder, the Glock's not too bad, nor with the CZ75. Boomage making a sound cue. There's you know somebody's beat. home. Oh, dear. Is Katie going to go up and around? He made the drop with that step. He may have. This could be so nice. He if he checks have. back in... Hi. Oh, he's seen both of them. That's a lovely bit of info. Smart gamer. Bomb's going down, though. He's got to try and find Tessus. Does confirm he's still in the heaven position. Boomich is using every tool in his arsenal. He actually fakes the drop-off again. Tessus is going to ignore it. He dropped as well. Look at this. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> oh, well. It is on to Tessus to clutch now. He's got three frags already no in kit. this pistol. No kit on Perfecto. So Tessus is going to jump for the info. Does get him off the bomb. Oh, confirms yeah. it with his jump peaks. These guys are all just playing count oh. Counter Strike at such a level. And it will be the magnificent pistol round from Tessus, all things considered. Four kills. He overcomes it all. And what a round that was. Just seeing the, the way in which people have when when presented the puzzle of no utility, of no weaponry, no sprays, you can see all of the extra elements that people have found to to get that competitive edge. Really nice round from Boomage, all things as well. But that was the perfect play from Tessus. Jumping, bouncing his head off to confirm and to make the sound necessary to confirm it's a fake. We are into the Force Bites. So, uh, keep your eyes on Simple. Keep your eyes on Electronic. Outside smokes. Nico's charged already to the red container. They plan to get a vent drop. That's what that smoke indicates. Ooh, that's going to be heard. So they know that there's one player towards main here. Electronic flashing forward and Flamey to be tested towards ramp. How big can Flame Dogger go? Not four kills big, but... It's going to have to be nuclear right now. Yeah, does he have any support nearby? I don't think so. Falls away. Yeah, simple. Oh, okay. Excuse me? He... Okay, he's dead now, but a little, little dangerous. Flame is fallen. All right. B's open. No worries. Horse by dealt with, and Perfecto and Electronic should really just hang around, see if they can find any of these AK-47s or hold on to what they've upgraded into. This one here is done. Ten rounds on the board now for Heroic, and as we spoke about, it's another good map for Heroic. There was no reason they couldn't take this one back off of Na'Vi. The map pool actually very good for both teams. It was more the stylistic matchup that we were interested about within that pre-game. Who's third map? Train? Train it will be oh. the third and final map of this series, which could also be an absolutely fantastic affair. We've seen Simple and Electronic in the last season of Pro League. It could have even been the road to Rio doing some dirty, dirty 2v5s and talking us through it. We've seen some great little maneuvers from Heroic on this map, deciding on which type of jewels they want to isolate and work on. And this one has delivered today, obviously with the big performance of Simple over there on Overpass, and now it's been more of the back and forth tussle. Thinking better than pushing forward. Heroic will hold on to what they have. Both teams calling a bit of a stalemate here, and that was the kill to open the round up. Nico onto Boomich just rotating away as we have a bit of dabbing going on. And uh, the crew back in their little cinema room. Oh, they're trying to high five. High fiving one another. Yeah, like virtually. Cross camera. Oh, camera it's kind of okay. cute. Respect. Of course, if you want to get involved in the fan cams, that's the thing. Uh, heading into round 18. Let's see then. Energy drained out of the room from this incredibly slow approach at times. Boomage trying to get himself down those vents fast and furious. Shouldn't be anything to write home about, but it will be heroic taking their time, and understandably so. There's so many positions unaccounted for. 
Outside, Nico's confirmed it's clear. Boomich up secret with his Desert Eagle. We'll be hoping for a free frag. Here come the outside smokes. So Boomich will be able to confirm or deny whether or not there is any information to be gained there. He's been molotov out. He chooses to get ahead of it, but it costs him his life. It was good timing there by Nico on that. He threw the molotov. He forced that error from Boomich and it was able to capitalize on the kill. And now they do have to worry about if the lower site is under jeopardy. Tesla's with a flash over. Smoke's giving them the ability to force around towards top ladder. You can see the one covering off towards the windows, one towards main as well. And then up they go. One little jump at a time. Electronic realizing that heaven could be a problem now. Needs to take back some territory towards lobby. Simple's posted with this CZ75 on the boost boxes towards ramp, trying to make the most of what he can. But this one here should be over. It's hard to see how Na'Vi are able to find kills with this setup. Utility can be deployed from Heroic. You can see they're dealing with Squeaky Door. Perfecto not able to land a shot. And now the question becomes, do they just want to try and get exits? Do they want to make a real crack of this one based off the two flashes that Perfecto has? has There's no right answer. Na'Vi are in a lot of trouble. They're in strife. Gosh, a nuke sometimes can feel so high octane and this feels very concise it feels very clear cut in the in a great deal of these rounds so far for me i'm kind of surprised electronic flamey and perfecto there's not much to be done here maybe make it costly if you can not going to get the first chance at it perfecto with the flash doesn't do anything flamey's already dead yeah so here him too could be could be hunted here You can avoid going down to an SMG, that's not bad. Save a bit of extra cash going on the board. So that's a win, all things considered there. As the loss bonus comes on through, the buy will follow. Simple as enough for an AWP and armor, but might want to go for the org. We've seen him be relatively proficient. Never mind, he'll get dropped the orb. So lucky Simple, not having to worry about purchasing his own big green. Gets a gift. And he needs to make it work because now V, if they're looking to close things up on their own map pick here of Nuke, they need to get started now. And the gun round should make things a little bit more interesting. So let's watch Stown's approach. Will he still play around that vent? Nade open. No smokes come on in just yet. It's not deep enough to give up the idea that somebody could be down the vent because Simple is, in fact, in there with an AWP. Of course he is. Top hit. Where else are you going to be? Simple, knife, vent, or sounds all but right. And if the T's aren't careful, they're going to be in a whole lot of trouble with him there. But looks like attention's being turned elsewhere. Oh, and Flamey just holds on. Yeah, that's huge. Going oh. down, though, it does open up ramp room. Simple's already stuck down to the vent, so he'll be able to commit to the lower side should they do. But at the moment, it seems like Lobby Lurk sticking around. The frag, though, just hoping to pull the CTs out of position. And it has. Boomich and Simple have both been forced into the site to respect that. If you can keep Simple in limbo, you've already done a fantastic job, and that's what they've done. He's in the wrong place. We can see the Look at Boomich, though. I think he's pushing lobby. ramp to call it clear. That's a good call. We've seen Heroic in the past limp out through Squeaky or Hut with walks. Nobody's watching Heaven just yet, so this might... Oh, Boomich, you saw him. It does now. Gets the frag, and it looks like Electronics wrapped this wall on it. Put a bow on it. And simple. Oh, losing his orb. Perhaps even losing his round. There's still 30 seconds. Perfecto and Boomich left to try and pick the pieces oh, the up. A dink straight through the vents <laughs> and he's gone. He's out of there. Orb recovery could oh. be difficult. He went flew past it. Yeah. Perfecto got it. Perfecto grabbed one. Good. Okay. So the CTs do maintain that. It was a huge investment. Perfecto dropping it out and he recovers it again to drop it out again. Perfecto. He's only got 3.3, but with armor already, he can grab himself a FAMAS and some nades. Cadian, let's see this frag. So this was the shot onto Flamey just as he was trying to find some cover. Heading into our 20th. Second map, second game. Wouldn't mind just bringing in some news here if this one starts a little bit slow. Daps, who stepped down from Genji, won't be playing tonight, has announced that uh, there will be a new fifth for Genji going up against 100 Thieves this evening. Ooh. So the announcement happens then, I guess. Yeah, so I guess we'll wait and see who that is, who will be unveiled. A new Gen G player. Wait, and this is... Sure. Okay, I, I hate to be the spoiler, but isn't it already locked in because of the... It would have to be, but the, Daps didn't say whom, so oh, okay. I'm not sure who it is. I see, I see. We'll play nicely. SMG out. Already on lower and no one's home. Famuses, yeah, this is... They're, they're, they're free and clear. Oh, Warops loving yeah. it. And chill where he is. Molly's in. 
Kadian's on the flank. Oh, freebie. Gorgeous. Now Perfecto's even in question now. Two, that's you can't ask for any more. Yeah. What are you meant to do with these two now? Nothing. Save. All right, Heroic are looking geared to take this map. So good stuff from them to bounce back after overpass. Now all the pressure on Simple to hold on to the AWP. If he can't carry this, if he can't maintain his grip, and Tessa says no, it's going to be a very, very rough spot now for Navi. They have the choice. Maybe just a little bit of a light upgrade, some pistols, maybe some armor behind this. Or they can go for a force buy. But here, Heroic are looking like they're in a position to take this one and take it quickly and cleanly. Exchanging each other's map picks today is on the cards. And speaking of cards, Down having a bit of a shuffle. Keeping his hands busy. Oh, That's impressive. Good job, everyone. Teamwork, making the dream work. So cute. Love that. <laughs> Okay, well, looks like it will be the eco from Na'Vi as freeze time is trickling on down. Simple could invest a little bit, so could Electronic if they want to make this round slightly more potent. Boomage with the Zeus. We did see that over there on Overpass. If you missed us, you had a little bit of a surfy maneuver. Have some smokes. Deagle for Simple. Electronic, not going to buy anything, surprisingly. Maybe he'll have to drop the AWP for Simple in the further round. So let's get round 21 underway. Let's see if Na'Vi have anything to say, because so far Heroic are looking very, very good. I knew this was going to be a back and forth affair. After map number one, it felt like it maybe was just going to be all one-way traffic for Na'Vi. But Heroic are making this interesting, and here we go. Here's the Zeus. Oh. Now we don't get the sound effect, unfortunately. Nico deals with Boomich, and towards the lower site, they trundle. Or do they? True Thank Heroic you, boys. fashion. What was the song? I actually don't remember which one. It was it like was. Uh, Spider Pig. Yeah, you both got it. Go, yeah, yeah. Okay, I remember now. Yep. Tell my brain's really not in gear. But uh, the fakey boys are at it again. But the CTs haven't moved too much. Flamey's having a walk around. But other than that, everyone's kind of as they are. And your danger man will always be simple. Nine kills. Quiet for him here. Yeah, this might be his most quiet performance so far within the Pro League. I was reading out his kill distribution and, and just some of the crazy stat lines that he's had up until this point. But as I said, if you can keep Simple in limbo, if you can keep him moving around, well, he's basically negated. And that's one of the things that they are doing well here today. It's not over just yet. Heroic will post 13, most likely, unless Simple does something wild. Two kills is nice, but it's not enough to give Flamey the door ajar. And we wait. <laughs> yeah. It's not quite the thriller I was hoping for, if I'm honest. It's a little bit of a shame that Na'Vi looks a little flat here, if I'm honest. What do you reckon the X21 means? Mm -hmm. Anyone at home know? Write us. Is it actually Send a, a letter. It might get here before the end of this game. <laughs> Stout. Finishes things off, and here we go again. Round 22. Yeah, that's right. Okay, so Electronic did buy the AWP and give it towards Simple. Let's see if there's any bite in this one. Maybe something a little bit more aggressive from Na'Vi. That's how they could deal with this, continuing to lose Heroic behind the smoke walls and different strategies. So a yard control could be one of the ways to operate here. Chad, can we check in with Rush next time? There's like a low buy round, maybe. Sure. Miss him. That's a little bit of flavor, you know? Simple, we need some of that flavor, some of that spice, something this guy can do. 11 kills. Maybe there was a moment, of a glimmer of hope last round with that Deagle, but then it faded away, and that's what it's felt like this entire time. Bit of a fade away, but Simple gonna bring something back. Maybe spark something among this Na'Vi size. It just seems dreary. Molly comes in, here comes the hit. Good trade comes out, even if Electronic falls. Boomich is on it with Perfecto. Simple here, and everything's gone to plan. Shut down, move on, four stand for the CTs. 13 to nine. Rush, we might as well check in with you now, mate. What's going on in there? Hello? What's the temperature like in the uh, production room? It's pretty cool now. It was pretty warm earlier. This is a tough new game, though. Jesus. Why is it tough? Just slow? It's slow and like all the fakey stuff, you know? Even Na'Vi were a bit... Uh, they were shifting around a lot. It was 
Everyone's everywhere, it seems. It's crazy. A lot of the duels are happening simultaneously here. Oh, which yes, is we making do love to see very those. Difficult. I love that. You can't be in multiple places in one time, unfortunately. Oh, I can definitely rush. try. Cross your eyes, cross your arms. <laughs> Put Simple up towards heaven with the AWP now, not back towards yard. Oh. oh okay. Oh. Electronics just killed two of them through the smoke. Stown kind of had a plan, and it's just been taken from him because the bomb's now under CT control. He's just gone and got it. The He's so cheeky. Balls on him. He's going to get the full plant now. There's no one really to stop it. Flamey is there, but chances are Stown still gets this one down. Fakes the plan. Oh, my God. And walks away. That's one way to pull the rotate to the lower side. Imagine if he goes up the ladder now. Perfecto. Stan's going secret. They're so cheeky. They are. Nico's there to meet him. The escort will continue. Perfecto's the only one on that top site now. I kind of find that hard to believe. So CT vent. I mean, it is the perfect option. Electronics positioning himself to support top site. They're staring at him. Just as they look away, he, he has a look. This is crazy. Spots one. Knows it's coming. Flashes just to survive at this point. Oh, dear. Come on, get rid of him. Still here. Fire, flames, everything poured in. Still stands finally gone. But oh. Nico coming in in combination. That's big. But simple. He's going through the smoke. He's, he's oh. stopping. Simple just walking in. He's still operating. He's still trying this one out. Good God, that was close. Oh my word. Why is he always a bloody danger? But Borup's found flamey. So it's just simple. And simple, sadly, for once, isn't enough. Okay, surely this is it now. How it can Navi continue to battle back? I mean, they'll have enough of something. It might be a Mag 7 or something of that ilk for Boomich. But yeah, they turned that one around and credit to Stown. I thought that double kill from Electronic was enough. But, yeah, you can see what it ended up looking like. It was Nico's frag that kept them safe. Stown gets himself three, and that's huge. Yeah, that's going to warrant a, a cheer or a micro fist raise. I would hate to play the mid rounds on Heroic, like actually being on their team. Yeah, and right. just the way that they're all over the place all the time, it's insane. Okay. Back in we go. Oh, they already cross. Pure confidence, it feels like. They've got Na'Vi. By the throat now. Well, it, 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 start of the round, we're barely 30 seconds in and, and Heroica are everywhere. Perfecto surrounded on all fronts. He's got nothing to do but die. This is 15 every day of the week. What a T side this has been. Five, six, seven rounds now for the T side. Puts them on 15 and Na'Vi would have to have a spotless run. Unfortunately for them though, they invested all their schmeckles, 2,900 loss bonus into the next round, which means you're going to have nothing. <laughs> oh, no. So the third map is train. Mm -hmm. We've uh, prepared ourselves for the potential for a third map here. Na'Vi unable to convert their map pick. It's always been a weird one with Na'Vi in terms of the map they pick, Chad. It's like Dust 2 for a while, and like no one can really pick Dust 2, and they're going for Nuke, and clearly it's certainly not like, you know, a flawless yeah, I think uh, home turf. They would have loved us to here today, but unfortunately that map was banned on out by Heroic. So unfortunately for them, it's having to pick between a map pool where Heroic are actually quite strong. You know, yeah. We've seen Heroic on, on Mirage look pretty good. Navi could have picked into that if they wanted. I, I think Nuke potentially thinking they could have exploited some tendencies or approaches. And for moments, remember the first half was very close. It looked like it could have happened, but now backs against the wall, pistols come out. It is the last ditch attempt. This should be Heroic sealing the deal, and you can see the scores right now. Stown with an absolutely monstrous performance, 25 to his name, 19 for Tassus coming alive after a slower map one. Cadian with 17, 15 for Burrup, 12 for Nico. On the other side of things, we've got 16 for Perfecto, 15 for Boomage, 14 apiece for Electronic and Simple, and then Flamey there on 13. So even fragging on the Na'Vi side, they're just being handedly beaten. And I think that all of these mid-round little maneuvers, fakes, back and forth, it's difficult to keep up with. You heard from... Rush the one, two, three, four, five, six, the best observer in the world. If he can't keep up with it, how are Navi meant to? So, is there any life left in Navi? Scrape together this buy. It's a tough one. It's difficult to see how they get into it. And the, and the reason, you know, it feels like it's low intensity is because once Heroic will burst into an area, 
they'll merely take control and then fall back. And Na'Vi can't strike or fight with low utility and low weaponry. They have to take advantage of the attacks. They need to be hiding around in the smokes, making sure they don't get out of those choke points, not giving them too much room. But it's too late for that now. Only a nade and a flash left to fuse kit in Simple's hands. It's going to have to be something special. It is certainly going to have to be at least two. Wow, that's three. Flamey, he's not going quietly into the night. He wants to fight. Gets himself three very crucial frags in order to keep and extend this Na Na'Vi nuke. It's down, though. Never to be written out. Does continue to hang around his favorite door. Nico holding the push. I'd be ashamed to see Na'Vi push in, but tucking in, that's fine. Electronic confirms. Still access from that squeaky side of things. A smoke towards the vents. Trying to draw the CTs into their crosshairs. 25 seconds, Simple catches a glimpse. A little leg, a little cheeky ankle. Want to keep this spotless. They want to hoover up all of those rifles. Every heart beating in the Na'Vi jersey should be equipped with something better than a Desert Eagle by the end of this. But Boomich has fallen. Electronic likely trading. And there we have it. So it will be three rifles and AWP, in fact, preserved. Electronic grabs himself the AK-47, and Na'Vi have got five rounds without any margin for error. Flamey, it's rare to see something this successful in that uh, quad area. Kadian getting a flash assist. I don't think we're going to get Ooh. too upset about that. Wow, I didn't realize we've got a... A henchman. Arnie's on the scene. Yeah, huge. <laughs> so what was really cool about what Heroic were trying to do there was to avoid exactly what you were painting, Alex, not letting them try to pick up those guns. Unfortunately for them, they did go down. The guns can be scavenged, and the buy does look good on the Na'Vi side of things. But all it takes is one, and Heroic have rounds to work with, and their approach so far has been fantastic. It's unlikely we see another triple kill coming out on the Na'Vi side of things in similar fashion to what Flamey just pulled off. They can just do these smokes towards the yard position, isolate some jewels, force out rotations once more. There's no reason for them to change things up. It's been working very, very well. Comes close to simple already. Tessus has made it ahead of the others, but Orb's fallen. Flamey keeps him safe as well. The bodyguard's here. No one gets to get that close to simple. An assassination attempt thwarted as Stone up to ramp room. Where is that bomb been lost? It is in the outside area. Yeah, tricky to recover. And Flamey aware of where these holes may be, even in the Na'Vi defense. If you know you've left a gap, you have to just play really safe and Flamey not doing exactly that. If Stown plays this gap, lets Flamey walk past and doesn't go for the kill, he can actually flank simple. Oh, he's behind enemy lines. This could be huge. I love this. Stown must remain calm, though. There's one. So we've seen two players here. This could be quick. One. Oh, before the call could even come through to Flamey. He was there for it, but this is now falling apart. Nicely handled in the end, but you could see them plan in motion. Ooh, yeah, Flamey, the fact he hit that shot so quickly, that was pure reactions. He just heard the sound, simple screams, and he quickly gets that revenge. Let's see that one again. This is Flamey's opener. Good catches from him. Quick turn and spray into Stown. Ooh. It was a nice attempt, yeah. all things considered. NT. I, I think NT. With, with what Flamey did there, just for people, why uh, Simple didn't move from that line when I called someone was close, Flamey knew he had to deal with that push. So they were well aware of what strategy Heroic were running with. And right now it's Heroic just down on the pistols. So potentially a pace change here. Might try something a little bit more explosive. They've thrown the secret wall smokes to feign control towards the lower. And then Kadian with the molly and two flashes might just be a top piece. Perfecto can't get blind here. Here we go. Turns it. One, two... Three? Three. Maybe even four. I can count. Oh, there it is. Okay. Okay. Ooh. I'm jumping off the rafters with one HP. That's a... Bit bold. It's a man who, who, with a plan. Is on the edge. He does. 4.3 on the low end for this T side. We had a full 30 rounds of play earlier in the day. <sighs> See if they can uh, match it here. It just feels like a matter of time now. It does. I'm, you're right, I'm afraid that's that's the uh, that's the assumption we're operating under. I'm sure Na'Vi would like to change our minds. Heroic, though, have impressed us. And this T side does just feel like it's a matter of time. Simple's going to be tested here. 
Oh, uh, elevated angle, and he bides his time for the first. Can't jump to reposition. Cadian trading. And Flamey now conceding. He has to give this up. He can't fight this. If he swings out, he'll be taken. There's multiple members now over towards ramp, backing Cadian up. Okay, well, they feigned full ramp control. That flash, the fact that he didn't peek off of it, it means that they could be anywhere, but Electronic is actually taking space back himself. Whoa, you don't see this flank all too often, do you? Not at this pace. Not at the pace at one minute. Still on the clock. Look at this. He's turning his... He's going to have two backs turned. Maybe even four. Hi, everyone. Oh, it's everything you've ever wanted. It does die to squeaky, but you... That's that's everything lining up. It it's becomes possible. It's still doable right now for Heroic. They're going to get down the vent. Boomage. He was there. He's oh. been there the whole time. Excellent play from Boomage. And honestly, that flank here, the timing was unreal. To come around just as they were falling away from ramp, they sown that seed of doubt there. As, you know, maybe they got a bit of ramp control. No, no, no. Electronic. That's why you want him in the server. Fit, we love you. Don't worry. It, everyone was a big fan, but we appreciate this. 15-13 timeout called. <sighs> this is a slog. Yeah, so right now the loss bonus has uh, ticked all the way up to 3,400 on the heroic side of things. So they can go for a half investment right here as we have the Navi fan cams coming on through. Lots of you at home, big fans of the Kings from the CIS. Now I would like to see a partial buy from heroic here. They can have those tech nines utility again. Kevlar for a couple of the players will make that four. Kadian will be the only one not going with it, probably wanting to get an AWP up in the following round. So they do have five smokes in play. We could see a standard secret wall smoke, and they could just have all five of them hail Mary and try and get down. That's not a terrible play. You're going to close the distance. You're going to close the gap. The pistols become more potent. Certainly not. And of course, the other threat, if you were to go for something like that, is electronic. It's simple at the moment, though. All right, well, they have a couple of boss, and Stown gets punished by Boomich. Electronics on the scene. I need to see something to make me believe that this round has got any sort of threat to it. That flash isn't bad. It's a good stepping stone, isn't it? But everyone's here. Simple's down the ramp. We've got Flamey on the, oh. on the board. It's quick. They, they have none of it. We're one away from 15-15. OT is feeling like it could be on the cards here. This could be a long affair between these two. Heroic wins it. We go all the way through this. What's Cadian cooking up in his bag of tricks? Final round. You've just lost your last five attempts. He's just got the AK. Okay. What's he got in store? What of heroic planning to break this CT defense? And RV running with momentum. Heroic to take us to three here in regulation. Otherwise, overtime will be pulled out. They're trying to test Flamey again over yeah. towards ramp. Simple there, though. Smoke, an incendiary, anything. There it is. He's thinking about it. He's flirting with the idea. And that will give him info. That forces down back, a little burn. Oh, well, Electronics just swung on yard and heard lots of footsteps. This is getting very dicey. Simple's back in time. He is. He's flashed off for now, but it's Flamey that needs something. Nor Simple does pull the trigger. Four on four as they Which drop to the lower side. Boomich is there in time. Electronic could be caught out here. And in the meantime, it's Boomich. Spots both of them. Gets Damage. one. Good damage inflicted into Tessus. Cadian catches Simple outside. Bomb to be planted thanks to Tessus. Electronic and Perfecto aren't far away. And the fact that he's delayed this plant has enabled them to dig their heels in. Goodness, if Tessus was to plant here, if he makes a sound, if he confirms that the bomb is on that lower site. Oh, good oh. shot. Electronic, the robot. Oh, and borup has gone too. We're looking like overtime. Tessus, he is on that lower site. Perfecto towards Decon. 30 seconds. He wants to fight. And that's the sound cue they needed. Navi. Wow. Six rounds in a row on the defense. And it's time for a quick break. We'll get ready for overtime here on our second map. Got too much up on my plate, now I can't think
Heading into overtime, map two, it's Nuke, and already seeing Na'Vi bolster their defenses towards the end. It was a spectacular start from Heroic. The Danes came to play on our second map. It was a 16-6 thrashing on our first. Perfecto toggling on his noose, and we're ready to get into what will be the first round of our second map's overtime. First in 19, we've got Spoonge, and of course, Pansy hanging out with Ooh. myself machine. My alarm's going off, I've got to water my plants. It's, it's, you've got an alarm plant. Well, well, let me try again. Plant, plant alarm. alarm. Yeah, because I overwater. Oh, you, do. you overhydrate them. Yeah, I do. It's a real problem. Oh, this could be a problem for Heroic. Simple, though, pushing up. Kadian is on the way. Oh! I, I can't believe it. I can't believe it. Oh, God, there's no escape. Put out his misery by Nico, and then Ele Electronic's gone. This is an absolute travesty of a start for Na'Vi, being tried to kept together by Boomage and Perfecto. But the pace from Heroic... God damn. So that's the first round Heroic have posted in the last seven. It was six straight from Na'Vi to get us to overtime, and Heroic have come out of the gate swinging. Simple getting caught in no man's land, just waiting to see if he can line this shot up, not wanting to pull the trigger too early, and then having to dance back through the flames. Two There's mollies. no way out. There Two was no mollies. way out. They completely isolated him on his attempt to go aggressive. Oh. All right, well, back in we go. That was a quick one off the break, so let's see how they fare. Squeaky getting naded open. Kadian trying his Ouch. kick, but he's going to cop a nade. Double nades, yeah. Nico, Kadian both down to 50. Now Flamey, he's going to drop his incendiary at the perfect time. It was an HE, so doesn't quite buy as much space as you would have hoped. Flamey's oh, in trouble. Yeah, he's in a lot of trouble. Safe from the flash. Double flash. He's going to surely go down here. Yeah. Oh, <gasps> what? They were lined up for simple. He plucks them both from the air. A double peek. Oh! oh, and a fast flip.
Alex Simple's furious. Nico's gonna go down as well. He's on for the ace. Simple, absolute disrespect. Slapping down a collateral, plucking them from the air and winning this round single-handedly. Oh, you don't get to dance with the devil and not expect to get burnt. But now, four up. A one v four. An ace is the only accepted form of currency here if he wants the round win. Bit of a tag to begin with. That's going to be a second. Uh -oh, they go one by low. one. It all becomes a little bit more possible. I like this. This would be the perfect microcosm of Na'Vi. Simple's got four. Four up to clutch. But Perfecto saves us and saves Simple's hard work. Great. Yeah, give him the defuse. That one counts too. So he'll go and get the 16th. And both rounds have hinged off the back of... It's defuse. Shutting him down. What are we waiting for? AK-47, sir. There we go. He's making sure they have the biggest, baddest guns in the server possible. And the defuse will come through. Perfecto ends up taking that one. It doesn't matter. We're in overtime 16K. So now as we move into the last round of the first half of overtime, let's see who's going to take the lead. Simple's double. Flamey, very lucky. Mid-air. Very lucky. He was supposed to be screwed. I don't know how he hits that. <laughs> Still no, sh not really sure about that one. Uh, but yeah, Cadian. <laughs> <laughs> you just got to, that's going to be water off a duck's back. It's like, oh, yeah. yep, it is simple after all. It's okay. It's okay. All right, they're going outside now. Boomich, Electronic, both mixing it up with a different look. Electronic's been given the responsibility of outside. It'll be simple normally who flashes for him, but no one's there this time around. That double nade is indicative that they know Electronic likes to play up close and personal to that CT-sided smoke and look up towards the top of Silo. Lining up their own will be heroic now. This is an interesting position from Electronic. We want to keep eyes on him here. He'll be ahead of the smoke wall. See what you're saying. Does he get the info for it? Likely. One jiggle. He just has to choose when. Yep, there it is. Nothing close. It's not a safe call, but Simple has caught down. He was holding that broken squeaky door. Huge. And by finding that frag, it's indicative that they've returned to lobby. And so Ramp, Flamey's been a real pillar of consistency here. He is hearing the steps, and he'll confirm that information to his team. Perfecto. He's going to drop the flash, and Borop is going to check his corners. So now it gets intense. Boomich is spraying not quite good enough. The flash might delay. Cadian does convert. This is looking better for Heroic. A four on three at the moment, but the bomb will go down. Simple and Perfecto ascending or descending from the ramp. Electronic from Secret. Tessus wants an information and he gets more than he bargained for. He gets taken out of the picture. It's two for Simple so far. Cadian on one, Borop on the other. You can see Cadian trained on this, chooses to go towards Simple. Probably the right choice, I'd say, at this point. But Perfecto going to manage some good work here. Electronic's yep. going to play it back in. He oh. spotted out. That's great work. Perfecto now almost running low on time. Cadian's just buying it. Seconds now pass as he knows his chances have dwindled on this, but he has to go for it no matter what. There's the first and the second. Hold it. No Drop time. the flash. Do something. Oh, okay. That's the end of that. 17 to 16. It is going to be an advantage heroic. And we're heading into that second half straight away. My goodness. This was Na'Vi's pick. We'll see how this one opens up. You can see this is a very important frag. Just catching Boomich out on the angle that Nico was holding. Uh, as soon as I saw him coming down the stairs and I saw the doors, I was like, oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. No. Oh, geez. oh, no. Um, Jack, you remind me of the T side we saw from Na'Vi quite briefly, because honestly, it felt so long ago now. That so they won the pistol, kind of they lost the force, and then they battled back with three in a row within the middle of the piece there, and that's when they were able to humble the heroic economy. But once heroic got their goodies out, they were actually able to string together a decent half. It was an 8-7 scoreline. So it was a back and forth affair, but it was scrappy rounds for both. Wasn't anything very clean. Gosh, that's nerve wracking. That was the bomb. Oh dear. He was so ready to try and find the frag. Now the bomb's been spotted and Perfecto didn't win that duel. He's been having a great game as well, by the way. And Stown's gone down on the aggression. Wow, this game keeps changing hands so many times. Has Kadian got eye on the bomb at all? I don't. I guess he knows where it went down at some point, but Electronic could probably pick this up. Yeah, the fact Perfecto killed Nico has made Caden's job a lot more difficult. Looks like he's trying to be proactive with it. He might even find Flamey for this. They're still maybe aware, but Caden now made to hand. That's going to catch. 
50 HP, but Warp's going to be called to go to lower. It's Kadian still considering, how do I put myself in the best position? And it feels like maybe the wrong choice, but had to make one either way. Yeah, they've left the bomb. 30 seconds, bro. Allowing Electronic to pick that one up. They're doing a heroic to heroic. They're doing a fakey boy, and it's worked. <gasps> Fakey boys Boy? get fakey boyed. That's a rarity. Boomich is going to shoot up the vents now, and that will be the sound cue that they realize, oh dear, it's gone it's gone awry. He's burning himself hey. down to a crisp. Check yourself before you wreck yourself, Boomich. Oh, uh, nice. Uh, okay, he could have landed on the plant, so that would have been awkward. <laughs> but we're all good in the hood now, and it's time for an after plant. Narvi in pursuit of their 17th. Fakey boying. The very same. He's got the one-way smoke. Tess has got an incendiary. Electronic's going to be forced out into a flashbang here. They've got all the right util. God, the headshots come through thick and fast. Oh, one touchdown. way. One here way. we go. Boomage can only do so much, but he has to do it all for them. It's not, not planned planned for him. For him. Not oh planned my God. For him. No. He can't do anything about it. It's all over and tragedy strikes. Over to Chad Birchall with more. That was a great retake. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I cannot believe how much they milked out of that one-way smoke. Dude, the shot Tessa Scott, you could see the vision from Perfecto was completely nullified. Damn, 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 that's impressive stuff. And now, well, they're off for securing it. That's a bit of a heartbreaker for Narvi. Oh, and they're going for something a little bit quicker. At least the nades indicate that. Fast Molotovs all over the inner site. Every weapon they desire for this fight. <sighs> okay. Two rounds required in simultaneous fashion from the T side if they want to take us to another OT or heroic five kills to get that train locked in. I won't lie, train is looking very, very likely right now. Yep. Heroic have mounted a very good defense. Really? I mean, that retake, it wasn't even defense, that was assault. Going straight in from the top heaven position. Okay, Yard Smokes, it will just be Electronic out here to sell this one. Nico poking his head up. He's on low HP over towards Secret, but has the Org. And the fact that he hasn't seen anything means the rest of the players on Heroic can stay on high alert in their current positions. They've given up ramp, and Nico's actually searching. So Nico could be a problem late round. Where do they take this ramp for now? First stop for the T side bombs there. All going through. Oh, some missed nades. It's getting uh, real this feels dicey. Sloppy. This feels sloppy, but it's it can still come together. Flame, you gonna play by door. This could be down towards He's getting some potentially. Space. He's got room on this. Spotted by Bor up and loses to Bor up. That's the vent rotation possible now. So now be 25 seconds. Look how set up they are. Oh, there's no time, Alex. This should be a slaughter. Oh. Now just simple. Pop flash, looking good, simple. Not gonna go down without a fight, but he is going down. 19 to 16, heroic take nuke. 